big data is a, a far sexier term than it was four years ago. So there is a lot of data out there and we're, you know, we've analysed that you know, in anticipation of you know, what's going to be a really big Euro 2016 and we've got some really good insights. So your company has a unique set of data that, that you provide. Explain to me why it's different than what some of the other companies do. Yeah, that um, taking a high level look at things that betters are becoming increasingly discerning in their demand for sports data and we've really seen through some really in-depth market research that sports betters want data as a um, as a background to actually make their tips, they want to be more informed. So what we've seen with that is that if they do want data, they certainly want better data and really good analysis of that data to um, actually make their decision. So we can actually analyse data incredibly deeply um, and we can link that to betting markets such as how Manchester United's performed for the half-time, full-time double for their past 30 games in the wet at night at home coming off a six-day break. And that can be you know, applied to any betting market, be for the both teams to score market. And that's really what um, our value proposition is. Um, how do the bookmakers feel about this? I mean, before these guys were going to third-party sites and now, you know, what, tell me how that landscape has changed. Yeah, the, that's exactly what the bookmakers don't want. They don't want their users going to third-party sites because God knows where they'll actually end up and where they might actually end up placing their bet. They want time on site. So with a really sticky platform that we have built, we've ensured that um, the users of our platform that is embedded into a bookmaker's website, they'll actually stay on site so it will engage them and it will actually convert them. So it's a, you know, it's a one-stop shop. So we're actually satisfying what the bookmaker actually wants, which is you know time on sign. They don't want them going anywhere else. Um, so we have the Euros coming up, Euro 2016. Um, how is the access and the availability of big data going to change uh, the games this year when it comes to betting? Yeah, a really good question. That um, It's going to be really interesting. Obviously, the last Euros being four years ago, the landscape has changed significantly. Big data is a, a far sexier term than it was four years ago. So there is a lot of data out there and we're, you know, we've analysed that you know, in anticipation of you know, what's going to be a really big Euro 2016. And we've got some really good insights. You know, the eight, Six of the last eight um, Euro finals have been one to nil. Um, that um, Greece, has never, excluding qualifiers, have never actually won a game by more than a goal, including in 2004 when they actually won the whole thing. So it's just some really unique things and then, you know, we can keep producing facts sort of en masse um, of that nature.